Are you tired of your Minecraft looking like crap? Looking like this? Like you're done, right? You're playing Minecraft and you're like, nah, I don't like this. Well, fear no more. Fear no longer because I bring to you Irish Shader just with the click of a button. Look at this. You get shaders in Minecraft. Isn't that beautiful, guys? Isn't that amazing? You get shaders in Minecraft with one button and you're going to learn how to install that in this tutorial. So yeah, guys, let's get it started. Now, before we start, a lot of people have told me in the comments that I talk really fast on the tutorials. So I'm going to try my hardest to slow it down on this tutorial so you guys could see it. Also, as you can see, I don't have the camera as always. I'm using my webcam. So yeah, I'm sorry if I don't have the best quality as usual, but I'm still going to teach you how to install this the easiest way I know. Let's get started. Now, step number one, as with any tutorial, is to launch actually like Minecraft, the newest version. In this case, it's 1.19.3. So as you see, I have the launcher open. I'm going to go ahead and open the game real quick. We always have to launch the newest version of Minecraft or at least the Minecraft version that we're installing the mods for because we need to create an instance for the mod to install in the right folder. So let's go ahead and launch it and then we will get to the installing process. And after you launch the game, you could go ahead and close it. Just click on quit game. Now go ahead and click on the first link in the description, which will bring you to a written guide on how to actually download and install Iris shaders if you prefer to read and look at the photos or screenshots, you can go ahead and do so in our website. But in the meantime, we're just going to click download Iris here. For those following the video, just click on this big button that says download Iris here. That is going to redirect you to the Iris official website where we're going to click download now. And then in here, we're going to click download Universal Yard again. Just follow the download buttons and it will guide you to over here. Once you click on download Universal YAR, go ahead and wait a second. For me, it's taking a little while. Now, in my case, it's asking me where I want to save the file. But for you, it's just going to download automatically. If you're using Chrome, it's going to show on the bottom left. As you can see down here, we have Iris Shader. Now, I'm going to go ahead and drop that into the desktop. Let me make this a little bit smaller so you guys can follow along easier. I'm going to drop it into the desktop. You could just drag it from the browser, or if not, you could find it on your downloads folder. Now, before we install Iris Shader, we have to actually make sure that we have the newest version of Java in our computer. And no, I'm not talking about Minecraft Java. I'm talking about actually Java, you know, the software that is used to run Minecraft Java. So go ahead and click where it says type here to search and type auto remove programs. As you can see, I have auto remove programs right there. Now in here, you're going to click where it says search this list and you're going to type Java. As you can see, we have Java 17. Now Java 17, it is compatible with Minecraft Java 1.19, any of the versions, right? Point 0.1, point 0.2 or point 0.3. So we're good. If you don't have Java 17, at least Java 17, you could have Java 17 or 18. But if you have something like Java 8 or Java 7, the older Javas, you have to get rid of that by just clicking on it and then clicking on install. And then you have to install the newest Java. To install the newest Java or at least a compatible Java so we could run mods, you're going to click on the second link in the description. Or actually, the link is going to be labeled as download Java 18. And that is going to bring you to our written guide on how to download and install Java. It's a pretty simple process. Just come over here, click on the red button that is going to redirect you over here. And then over here, you could download Java 17 or Java 19. As you can see, there's actually Java 19, which is pretty cool. I didn't even know there was Java 19. I'm finding out as I'm doing this video, but you could actually use Java 17. Just click on that, click on Windows and download the x64 installer and just run it using the tutorial. The written guide is pretty simple. It's just like click next, next, and it's installed. Now, after you update Java, because I know a lot of you want have the right Java. After you update a Java, you have to run a Jarfix. Running a Jarfix is a three step process. It's really simple. Just click on the third link or the link label as Jarfix in the description and then just run the Jarfix and that is going to update your jar files. Remember, this file that we downloaded, this is a jar file. Those files need to be updated to match the newest version of Java in order to install them properly. Now, I hope you didn't get lost. If you need to rewatch that part of the video, go ahead and rewatch it. But let's go back into the tutorial. So now we have Iris Shader and we are ready to install it. But first, I want to download some shaders so I could show you guys that this works. Go ahead and click on the link in the description that says BSL Shader. If you want to install BSL Shaders, if you want to install something else, feel free to do so. We have complementary shaders. We have cylinder shaders. There's a lot of shaders. So install the shaders of your preference. But for this tutorial, I'm going to use BSL. Go ahead and scroll down. If you click on the BSL ones, click on download BSL here. That is going to redirect you to CurseForge, where we're going to click on files. And in files, we're going to look for the newest version. In this case, we have 1.19.3, which is great. It's the one we're using in this tutorial. So go ahead and click on download file. That is going to redirect you over here. Don't click anything because in five seconds, the download will start automatically. Let's go ahead and wait for that. And as you can see, the file is downloading. In my case, it's asking me where I want to save it. For you, it's just going to download automatically. I'm going to go ahead and drop it into the desktop as well. And now I have a WinRAR file, right? A zip file. And I have 
Iris, the installer. And we are actually ready to start installing everything and add the shaders. But before we do so, I want to let you guys know that Apex Hosting is doing right now a promotion where you get 25% off your first server. So if you want to run a Minecraft server, multiplayer, open 24 hours to play with your friends, doesn't matter if it's Bedrock or Java, you can play anywhere. You could use Apex Hosting, it's the platform that I use myself. And something that I personally love about Apex Hosting is that you could actually access the server console through your phone. So you could be like at Walmart and you could go on the phone and like OP your friends or kick them out of the server or ban people. You can do anything that you want from your phone using Apex Hosting. So I'm going to leave the link in the description. It's going to be labeled as Apex Hosting and you will get 25% off if you create your server now. So let's go back to the tutorial. Now we have Iris installer and we have BSL shaders. Now for this next step, which is going to be installing Iris, you have to make sure that you have Minecraft completely closed as well as the launcher. You want to close Minecraft launcher and the game. And if you remember the first step, we actually run Minecraft already, so we don't have to do that now. Let's go ahead and double click on Iris installer. That is going to open this little thing in here. Let's wait for that to open. There we go. We're going to select the version that we're installing it for. In this case, it's 1.19.3. So we're good. It's already automatically selected and it's as easy as clicking install. Don't change anything else. Just click install and there you go. It's already installed. It says completed. We could go ahead and close this. We could get rid of the installer and we could launch Minecraft launcher now. And if you install Iris properly, as soon as you open the launcher, you're going to have Iris and Sodium for 1.19.3 automatically selected on the bottom left. If that's not the case, if Iris and Sodium doesn't show down here in the left, click on installations and make sure that modded is selected. As you can see, if you don't select modded, none of the installations that are modded will show. So go ahead and click on that. And now you can see Iris in there. If that doesn't work, click on new installation, click on latest release right here and change it to Iris Fabric Loader. As you can see, now we have Iris selected. You can name this whatever you want and then you're going to click create on the bottom right. So that's another way to get Iris to show up. But for most of you, I know it's going to show right here. Go ahead and click on play to launch Iris. When you click on play, it's going to give you a little warning. Just click OK. It's basically saying that you're about to play modern Minecraft. So go ahead and click on OK. As you can see, Minecraft is now open and I'm sorry if it gets laggy, guys. Again, I'm using my webcam because I don't have my camera charged. So once Minecraft is open, as you can see in the bottom left, it says Minecraft 1.19.3 slash or dash is that called dash or a slash let me know down in the comments i think it's a slash fabric modded so we're actually playing modern minecraft in here we're going to click on options and we're going to go to video settings whereas you can see the menu is completely different than what you might be used to in here we could go to shader packs and we could actually add shaders now i already have complementary shaders downloaded but i know that we downloaded bsl shaders for this tutorial so go ahead and click where it says open shader pack folder so you can see the shader pack folder opens and we could just drag and drop our zip file. We do not have to unzip the file, okay? Don't try to unzip it, just drag and drop it in. And there you go, now you have BSL shaders, open Minecraft backup and give it a moment. Actually, you could click on refresh right here and it adds, as you can see, we have BSL shaders. We could click on it and we could click apply. Give it a second, as you can see, it's now applied. Click on done. And you could also mess with the settings right here. You could go to quality and performance. I know you could change the graphics from like advanced and fancy to fast, and you could change everything in here. A lot of people say that Iris shaders are actually better than Optifine. Now I have seen for some people Optifine works better, and I have seen for other people Iris shaders work better. So I think it will be up to you. By the way, if you want to learn how to install Optifine, stay tuned in the channel because Optifine 1.19.3 is not out yet, but when it comes out, I'm going to be there making a tutorial for sure. So now that we have uh, Iris set up and we have some shaders added, let's go ahead and click on done, done, and let's play a little world so we can see that we have the shaders installed. So I could show you guys that we have shaders. And as you can see guys, and I hope this is not too laggy as of this moment, we have the shaders installed. We have BSL shaders. This is me fully in game. This is actually Minecraft 1.19.3 Java edition. As you can see, this is Java edition. And yeah, guys, the shaders work. Now, something that I really like about Iris shaders is that if you click O in game, you could actually change your shaders or you could turn them on and off. And I know there's another button, which I don't remember. It's like J or K. There you go. It's K. If you press K, you could actually just turn your shaders off real quick. And if you press K again, they turn back on automatically. You don't have to open your shaders folder or menu or whatever. You could do everything through the game. So that is it for this tutorial. I hope you enjoy it. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and support the channel because I'm going to try to be uploading tutorials weekly again and getting back to uploading tutorials a lot for minecraft so yeah guys as always bye bye